Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to solve the same three equations that we obtained in the previous video solving that first word problem. But instead of using the method of elimination, we're going to use the method of substitution for the same three equations. So what we can do here is notice that the middle equation has only two of the three variables and they only have a coefficient of one and negative one in the front. So we can actually take that second equation and solve that, for example, for the variable z by moving z to the right and the negative 5 to the left so that the signs, the negative signs, change to positive signs. We can get x, and let me repeat the, the uh, equation, x minus z equals negative 5. So we switch the 5 and the z, so we get x plus 5 is equal to positive z. So here we have z in terms of x. And then what we can do, we can substitute that into the, well, we don't need to substitute it into the third equation because there is no z there, so we don't have to eliminate z for the third equation, but we do have to eliminate z for the first equation. Okay, so we do need to eliminate z over here by substituting this in here for z. So the second equation, or I should say the third equation, already has the z eliminated. We have 2x plus 5y is equal to 1. But the first equation, we need to remove the z by eliminating it by replacing z by x plus 5 over here. So we get x plus y plus, and instead of z, we're going to substitute that z by what z is equal to, which is x plus 5. And that is equal to, where are we? Right here, the positive 2. Okay, now we want to simplify those two equations. The first equation gives us 2x plus 5y is equal to 1. And the second equation, we have x plus x, which gives us 2x. We have a y plus y. And then here we have a plus 5 on the left side equals 2 on the right side. Of course, what we want to do is we want to move the plus 5 to the left. To the right side, the plus 5 becomes the negative 5 over here. So then the two equations come up here. We end up with 2x plus 5y is equal to 1. And the second equation becomes 2x plus y is equal to 2 minus 5 or negative 3. And now we end up with just two equations and two unknowns from the original three equations and three unknowns using the method of substitution. Again, we're going to use the method of substitution again. We're going to take the second equation and solve that for y. So the second equation becomes y is equal to, the 2x goes to the right, becomes minus 2x minus 3. And then we're going to take this and substitute that in for y into the first equation. So then this equation comes down here. We get 2x plus 5 times y, but y can be replaced by minus 2x minus 3 equals 1. And now notice that equation only has one variable, the variable x. So we end up with 2x plus, oh, not plus because 5 times a negative 2 is a negative 10x, and 5 times a negative 3 is minus 15, is equal to 1. Move the negative 15 over here, add these two together, 2x minus 10x is minus 8x, is equal to 1 plus 15, minus 8x is equal to 16, divide both sides by negative 8, and we get x is equal to negative 2. And there we are, the first, the first variable x equals negative 2 is now found. We still need to find y and z. So to find y, we're going to go back to this equation right here, because y is in terms of x. So we take this equation up here, we write y is equal to minus 2x, minus 3, but now we're going to replace x by what x is equal to, negative 2. So y equals negative 2 times negative 2 minus 3. y is equal to 4 minus 3, or y is equal to 1. And now we found the second variable. And finally, we go back to one of our equations where we have, we can solve for z. So here we can write, let's come over here that z is equal to x plus 5, and x is, where's x? Right here, x equals negative 2, so z equals negative 2 plus 5, or z is equal to 3. 
And there's the third variable, and we got the very same three values for x, y, and z, showing that this method works just as well as the method of substitution. And that is how it's done. I'll start using like a hybrid method, because if you look at one in the box, the, the two x's could just disappear if you just subtract them. The yeah. Yep. But here the purpose was to show you how to use the method of substitution. Yeah, but... Yeah. <laughs> I could have used... Yeah, I could have just simply subtracted this equation from that equation, the x's would have dropped out. It's a hybrid. That works as well. You got it. Using two methods to solve the same problem. Mm -hmm. A combination of substitution and elimination could have done it as well.